Hello friends. Today's activity, we're going to do some water play. So you do need to check in with your grown up to find out where an acceptable place to do water play is. So you could do that in your kitchen sink or your bathtub. Maybe you have to go outside or maybe you have a container, even just a small Rubbermaid or Tupperware container that you can put some water in. Find some measuring cups or spoons, anything like that and then we'll be doing some scooping and pouring. But I want you to know that you do have to be safe and you have to try to not make a mess with the water. And so in order to do that, you wanna keep the water in the container. If the water spills out and splashes, somebody could slip and then that would not be very safe. And as you're playing with the water, you might get wet. So be sure you're wearing something that's okay to get wet and make sure mom and dad or your grown up knows um, that you're playing with the water. Okay, take a look at my water table. We've got some bubbles here. You might have some soap you can put in your water and if you shake it up a little bit, it'll make some bubbles. Now, you may not be playing with water in a table like this. Maybe you're in the sink or even in your bathtub, or maybe you're outside. But I'd like to show you a few other things you could add to your water to make this more fun. So I have some apples here just because we had them lying around. And look, watch this, they're floating. If I try to put them at the bottom of the water, they bounce right up to the top. So my apples are floating. Maybe you have some toys around the house, but always ask for permission. You don't wanna put anything in the water unless your grown up says it's okay. But we also have some measuring cups. You might have some of those in your kitchen. People often use these in cooking. Or a cup, even just a cup you have in the kitchen. Coffee mug or even a plastic cup that you drink out of. And then here's some more measuring cups. This is a quarter cup and a third cup. I'm just gonna put those in the water. And you might even have this tool, it's called a funnel and people use this for a variety of reasons but today you can put it in the water watch if you pick up your funnel and you pick up your cup and pour it in and the water will come down a lot of times people use these um, the reason they use them is because maybe they have a container that has a tiny top and you want to pour something into it so then you can put this inside that container and then you won't have any splashing thank you splashing or spills yeah now one thing you want to be mindful of when you're playing with water is you want to be careful not to make a mess so if you're going to pour some water out you want to make sure your hand is low and close to the water See, watch, if I pour the water here, it's not gonna splash really big, but if I were to fill up my cup and come all the way up here, it might splash out of the table and get on the floor, and then that would be a safety hazard, and we don't want that to happen. And remember, if we take care of our things and we're responsible with the way we play, that usually means our grown-ups will let us keep doing it. So you just wanna watch, see how we're filling up our containers. Wow, I put two cups in there. Ooh, that's three cups. Four cups, wow. And then if I look on the side of it, it says I just filled it up almost to the top. I'm gonna put some more, let's see. Five blue cups of water filled this big measuring cup. Now I'm gonna pour it out, watch this. Whoa. Oh my goodness. And like I showed you before, we put some apples in here and look, they are squeaky clean. Maybe, you know what I forgot? I forgot a rag and that's okay. Maybe you have a rag and you can wash something with a rag or a sponge if your grown up gives you permission for that. Look, I'm hiding my apple. I'm hiding it in bubbles. <gasps> Where did it go? disappeared. Watch. There it is. There's my apple. Boys and girls, I hope you have fun playing in the water and maybe you 
can send us a picture or tell us um, some of the things that you put in your water and we would love to hear that.